Isi Wagomba says she was taken out of context when she was heard saying Andidigwe, meaning she was fed up following a Zoom meeting with Health Minister Dr. Zuelim Kize last night. The clip went viral on social media, with some calling for Eastern Cape Premier Oscar Mabuyane to fire her. In an apology, Gomba says her utterances were not related to the interview. Let's get more on the story now. We crossed our reporter in the Eastern Cape, Yanga Funani, for an update. Very good afternoon to you, Yanga. A furore over those comments, and some have been saying that the MEC attributed them to a head wrap that she was wearing and being tired of that. Tell us more. A very good afternoon to you, Nzinga, and to the scores of our viewers. You are coming to us from Bisho. Indeed, the words uttered by the MEC for Health, Cindy Swakomba, have been met with absolute disdain, particularly in the social media space. You'll remember that yesterday she was in Tata, where she spent the day on the field uh, delivering um, uh, uh, protective gear, which has been uh, a, a center of the criticism, uh, particularly from people in the health space lack of thereof. Now, uh, she said those words immediately after a cyber uh, press briefing, which, which she said that, uh, which loosely translates that I'm very irritated or I am fed up. Uh, this has compelled the provincial uh, premier, Oscar Mabuyane, to summon her immediately after she comes back from that visit in Tata. But to tell us more about this, we are now joined by the spokesperson of the premier, Mbuswe Kaya uh, Mawawa, a very good afternoon to you, sir, and thank you very much for joining us. What does the Premier make of such remarks coming from such a senior person? Good afternoon uh, to you and your, and your viewers, Lamin. Look, the first thing that the Premier did was to reach out to the MEC to find out what happened, why did she say the, those remarks, what was the situation, because, as you're saying, they were on a virtual uh, media briefing. So, after that conversation, the Premier advised the MEC to clarify that, uh, what, what led to that, what happened, because all we could see was a, a, the utterance of those words and, and, and the switching off of the, of, the, of the mic, the muting of the mic, that is, after that. So, what, what, what he says is, he must cl she must clarify it, and apologize to the public because how majority of South Africans and people of the Eastern Cape on the main are viewing it uh, is, is not uh, in, a, in a good light. So the MEC will take the people of the province and the people of the country into confidence and explain what has happened. And uh, the Premier is expecting the MEC to issue that public apology. Okay, um, um, in a statement uh, released by the Provincial Health Department, she says that uh, she was irritated by a duke she had been wearing all day. Does the Premier believe that? The Premier will have a meeting with the MEC later on today. Uh, but what the Premier wants to do is to tell the people of the country and of, of, of the province that no one in the Eastern Cape government that he leads, uh, whether politically or administratively, will ever be tired of serving the people of this province. No one will ever utter those words saying they don't want to continue with the work of serving the people of the province. Everyone in the team that the Premier leads is committed to implement the plan of the province to contain and manage the spread of the pandemic, ensure that there's PPE in all facilities, everyone complies with the rules of the lockdown, and everyone stays at home. All departments play their role in the co implementation of the provincial plan. Okay, this has also uh, brought into question the capacity of the Eastern Cape to elect uh, leadership to fill critical roles such as being a health MEC. There's a, there are cries uh, that uh, she should step down as the MEC, and some are coming within her political ranks. Uh, we heard last week that the ANC Youth League in the Nelson Mandela Bay wants her to step down. What will happen? Should we anticipate a case where after the meeting she steps down? Look, uh, even if I could try, I, I can't throw bones and, and tell you what the outcome of the meeting between the Premier and the MEC would be. But 
Premier has been on record previously saying the focus of government now is to implement the plan to save the lives of, 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 of the people of this province and to prevent the spread. And we, we think that some of the people that have been making those calls, they were basing it on an, inform, on an ill-informed and, and a, a article that really ignored the basis of what the minister had said about the, the monitoring visit that the minister had. So the Premier is, is, is really looking at ensuring that everyone uh, continues to focus on, on, on implementing the provincial plan and works with the public and the stakeholders, including civil society, the people of the province and national government. Now, Mawa, before I let you go, in an environment such as the Eastern Cape where the numbers continue to summit of positive cases, COVID-19 positive cases, wouldn't, say, wouldn't you say such an erroneous uh, remarks are only making the situation worse? Look, we appreciate the fact that people are, 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 are forming their own perceptions of, from the, the limited clip that we saw. And the Premier believes that when the MEC meets with him, they will, he will be able to understand what was going on. And from that point, then, you, you, would, you would be able to, to, to have a proper understanding. But the focus is, is here. Government is, is going out to test as many people as we can. When the, the pandemic broke out, for instance, we did not have mobile test kits. We did not have some of the resources that the, the MEC and the Premier have lobbied for us to get from national government. So that includes testing equipment. We've seen thermal scans from those requests coming to, to, to the province. We've seen experts coming in. And government in the province is also roping in some medical experts uh, at the former health MEC, for instance, to provide clinical uh, advice to the Joint Operations Centre in Owartambo, the former SG of, of Health, uh, to provide same advice to the combined uh, clinical, uh, Joint Operations Centre in PE. What we want to do as government is to make sure that we, we tighten the work that we do. We get more technical and informed advice to inform the work that we do, because each and every day we get new experience, because no one has ever, in the world, world experience something like this not in the last hundred years so we are dealing with something that we don't know and we understand that uh, the response to this pandemic and to some of the things that are going to happen is going to be shocking and it's not going to be something that we expect at times so Government is calling for, for the people of the province to come in, play their role. Let's support uh, the, the work that is being done. So when we go out, we've increased the number of teams, for instance, that are going out to test. Because we are looking for the pandemic. We're looking for the virus, people that have got the, the, the infection and the contacts that have interacted with those people so that we are able to manage this. So the province is planning to, to test as many people as 60,000, for instance, if we could achieve that. So that will happen when we work closer uh, with, with civil society, with the people of the province. Thanks a lot, sir. And that's, of course, the spokesperson to the Premier, Mbuswe Kaya Stretcher, telling us about the measures that will follow. Uh, he tells us that uh, the Premier of the province is to meet uh, with the MEC in question as to ascertain uh, what she meant by those remarks and actions, proper actions should follow after that. From us here in Pisho, Agobile is our video journalist and I'm Yanga Funan. It's back to you in Studio Nzinga. Yanga Funani coming to us live there from Bisho in the Eastern Cape.